kutoka wajiri wetu wa biashara mama wetu dada hapo koro tafadhali akiwa hapa mpigie makofi We are very grateful as we receive this school from Melon Educate, a complex like this comprising complete administration block, class, auxiliary rooms, definitely costs a lot of money to put up and not just money, a very big hut. And we have very, very few of us who readily engage in projects of this type that benefit communities. Last year, you built and donated St. Catherine School opposite Mata Hostel to cater for the poor children of Nairobi South B. Today, we once again gather here for the same purpose, a feat that is only achievable by very few open-hearted individuals and organizations like Melon Educate. I'm aware and appreciate that this development has cost 57 million shillings. This is a huge sum of money by any standards that has been donated for the benefit of the children of this county. On behalf of the county government and of the Nairobi people and the Bukuri community, I wish to convey my most sincere gratitude and word of thank you to Mr. Mellon and the directors. This project will remain a lasting legacy that many more generations will come to benefit from. Through this gesture, the foundation has distinguished itself as a champion of those who are needy through supporting projects that result in the improvement of access to education and for the, lost, the less fortunate members of the society. As the county government vested with management of education and education facilities in the city, this donation is one that will be cherished for a very, very long time and will not only improve access to ideal education facilities but supplement provision of universal education in the city. With the introduction of the free primary education, there have been many challenges that have emerged. This includes, among others, low enrollment rates, poor quality of education, and we did uh, mention a little bit earlier about the teacher-student uh, ratio. Of course, low transition rates and poor completion rates. To address the issue I mentioned above, my government has taken this seriously and set up education task force and Dr. Matunga, who is the chairman, talked a little bit earlier on. The recommendation on the identified gaps will be implemented and I would like to say will be implemented to the letter. As we take over this facility that becomes the 205th fully functional county primary school, I wish to confirm the readiness of the county in resourcing and building capacity to provide the highest standards of education. The county government has this year reserved in the coming financial year 1.3 billion shillings for the education sector. We will ensure that parts of these resources are allocated to the main for maintenance so that the premises do not deteriorate or degenerate. Facilities alone cannot yield desired performance in examinations. This must be supplemented by the efforts of the teaching staff. I therefore wish to call upon teachers to deliver their best to these young boys and girls of the Mukuru community. Lastly, I wish to appeal to the community to send all 
school, going eight children to school. Nairobi, despite being the capital city, has 20% of the kids between the ages of 4 and 14 not going to school. So it's my plea that parents send their kids to school with or without uniform. I will be engaging the chiefs, the village elders, and the disease to make sure that each and every child goes to school. And it is our intention to ensure that going forward, every primary school has a secondary school so that we can gain a 100% transition rate. And to this end, we are looking at means and ways of ensuring that within the next 12 months we start construction of a secondary school close by this facility. I believe that my chief officer for lands is here, Mr. S.G. Mwangi. And S.G., this is not a request. This is an order. Get land for a secondary school so that you can start building a school here within the next uh, 12 months. I know that there could be land this way, land that way. There are public land which has been encroached on. There's public land that has been acquired. And without fear or favor, identify that land, get it back so that we can build a secondary school. Wabi Makofi. Let me thank uh, El Mer, uh, the, our benefactors again because talking with them over and above the six, 160 million shillings that we are going to spend in the coming year to build new facilities, of course in addition to Olympic Primary School where we are spending 50 million, uh, the Mathare Mental Hospital Primary School where we are building uh, 40 classrooms at a cost of 120 uh, million. Um, uh, the Majengo Primary School, probably uh, Majengo is the, where I was born, is the only ward in the whole of Nairobi that does not have a single primary school. I believe we'll be talking together to see if you can help. I know that my wife has got a very, very special project uh, for Tanyayo, which is close by, and I believe um, Director Ken will be discussing that and see uh, what else can be done. But let me say that education is key. If you want to change a society, education is key. And that's why we are spending a lot of time and spending a lot of resources despite primary school education and secondary school education being devolved function. That's why we are spending a lot of time. Because truth be told, if given my background, if I had not gone to school, I would not be standing here today as a governor. But these children, given education, I believe engineers will come from here, doctors will come from here, and if you look at the colors of the uniform, and the color of the county is the same, is yellow and green, most likely in future the governor of Nairobi will come from this school. So let's give them the opportunity by providing them with the resources and also the rest of Nairobi, let's give them the opportunity and provi uh, provide them with the... So I want to thank you very, very much. Kualika Wale Lions, Kutoka Lions Club. Mama Mwiche Naona Mwame Jiva.
I'm aware and appreciate that this development has cost 57 million shillings. This is a huge sum of money by any standards that has been donated for the benefit of the children of this county. I wish to confirm the readiness of the county in resourcing and building capacity to provide the highest standards of education. The county government has this year reserved in the coming financial year 1.3 billion shillings for the education sector. We will ensure that parts of these resources are allocated to the main for maintenance so that the premises do not deteriorate or degenerate. Facilities alone cannot yield desired performance in examinations. This must be supplemented by the efforts of the teaching staff. I therefore wish to call upon teachers to deliver their best to these young boys and girls of the Mukuru community. Lastly, I wish to appeal to the community to send all school going age children to school. Nairobi, despite being the capital city, has 20% of the kids between the ages of 4 and 14 not going to school. So it's my plea that parents send their kids to school with or without uniform. I will be engaging the chiefs, the village elders, and the disease to make sure that each and every child goes to school. And it is our intention to ensure that going forward, every primary school has a secondary school so that we can gain a 100% transition rate. Hello, hello. Hello, hello.